Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. I am just bringing you my Friday report. Today will be super short and sweet because I have been busy helping Smarty and just creating content this week, so I haven't done a lot of filming that I'll be sharing on my YouTube. So I'm just going to let you know how my progress went this week, and yeah, that's it. But um, I am happy to report that I had a 29 day cycle so my period arrived yesterday which is really awesome um, because when you're coming off the pill often your period can go missing for three months, six months, years. Now I'm not going to get too excited and assume that I am coming out lucky. Um, I've obviously done a lot of things in the lead up to coming off the pill to make sure things went really well. Um, and yeah, we'll see where the next month stays consistent. If I get three months in a row where I have a really good cycle, I'll be super happy and um, yeah, I'll share what I did to make sure that, that happens for you guys. But for now, here's the data. You make it look like it's magic. Cause I see nobody, nobody but you, you, you I'm never confused Hey, hey, I'm so used to being used So I love when I'm all expected Cause I hate when I'm all expected So I'ma care for you, you, you I'ma care for you, 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 you Yeah, cause girl, you're perfect You're always worth it And you deserve it The way you work it Okay, so I had a pretty good week. Um, on Sunday, I definitely let pre-period hormones take over because I ate peanut M&Ms that were not in the plan and there was sort of no fixing it. So I rolled with it, continued on, and the week still came out pretty good. Um, now on Tuesday, I just forgot to weigh in. I was not feeling like getting out of bed um, and so I stayed in there really late it wasn't until I come in after class that I was like shit I haven't weighed in but yeah so my goals and averages ended up pretty consistent obviously a little over in the fats and the carbs and I was surprised to see I was under my protein but um and yeah my fiber still needs more work even though but I mean this week even though I still wasn't close to my fiber goal, I wasn't eating shit like I was in my diet break. I was still having salads and veggies. It's just that salads are not really that high in fiber. So, um, yeah, I made some swaps to try and get it up there through the week, but still need some work. And then, yeah, my steps were good on the average. As you can see, I had some days that were higher. Um, now, I'm not going to try and lift my average yet because I don't need to. And, I mean, those lower days, they're made up for with these higher days. If I tried to consistently stay at a 1,200 right now, I'd have nowhere to move in the future. So, I'm happy that my average is still sitting there. So, when we come and check it all out. So, I had my four training days still. Step average was, as I said... My weight average was down 300, but today I actually jumped on the scales and I was 55.9, which um, is awesome. My goal is to be at 55, uh, 65 by, so 65.9, and I um, my goal is to get down in those low 65s by Christmas. Um, I currently have my period. Compliance was great, and yeah, these were my macros. I'm going to repeat these macros again this week, and you guys, I am loving that I am on track and eating this much food. Um, I did do a little bit of maths this morning and worked out that I should be almost under 65 if I keep it up, because I have decided that my maintenance week is going to be divided over these two weeks, because my sister Cherie is coming. And Cherie is my person that when I'm going to eat bad, I eat bad with her. So, um, yeah, I want my high days when she is here. So I will diet right up until Christmas Day. So the 21st, 22nd, 23rd and 24th will still be dieting days. And then, yeah, from the 25th onward, I will do my seven-day uh, diet break. 
But that is my update this week. Told you, short and sweet. I will try and film my workout for you this week. I won't do another body update until the one just before Christmas. Yeah. I think doing too many body updates, especially when you're still at that high body fat percentage, it's not that exciting. Things aren't really changing that much. Um, so, yeah, I'll do another one in a couple of weeks so that there's a real, like, difference and we are getting closer to where um, I want to be and where I'm more comfortable in my body too. And then it will really get exciting after dropping below 65. We will start getting closer to those weights where you actually really see some lines in the body and your abs start to come back. My actual abs abs don't really show up until after 62 kilos, like below, um, just the way my genetics are. That I need to be quite low to show anything. Um, and yeah, we will see how I'm progressing. I'm really excited. I don't know whether I'll be 60, 59 for my comp day sort of thing. I'll see how my body fat's looking and how my body's looking. And yeah, go from there. But that is this week's update, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and head to my website to support. Thank you.